sometimes things just don't go to plan. Hey folks, well the plan was to um, pick up a mate and catch up with another mate at a little at a dam called the Glen Lyon Dam and do a bit of fishing for a little while. Um, but things didn't quite go to as expected. Um, so anyway, I hitched up the uh, my hybrid caravan. Headed off as you can see in the background, they're all very early one morning. Uh, that first day, no hitches, made it to a caravan park in a little town called Serena, still in Queensland. Uh, there's some photos of the van park behind me here. And then um, the next morning, headed out and made it to the camping showgrounds in another town called Gomeri. Um, this was uh, not far from uh, my final destination but I stayed there the night. Uh, you can see a few videos behind me. Um, pretty cold night there. I'm glad I had the reverse cycle aircon and the uh, in the van because uh, I had it pumping out heat most of the night and it rained and uh, it, it, and it was windy pretty cold night but that wasn't the hitch um, that was very well and good next morning I uh, got up shot across the road to the roadhouse uh, got myself a egg and bacon roll and a good cup of coffee and yeah, and headed off from there uh, so this is day three now, and this is where things start to go a little awry. Um, let's see, I've made it to, as you can see in the videos, just outside of uh, a town called Warwick. Uh, probably about 5Ks out of town. And the engine, check engine warning light came on. So I pulled over actually right in front of a couple of police officers that were uh, parked on the side of the road um, just to have a bit of a look and see what was going on uh, the motorcycle copper he came over and had a bit of a chat and told him what was happening and he was pretty good about it we uh, had a bit of a chat about the van and and then I had a bit of a chat about the uh, the motorcycle he was riding which was a Yamaha FJR 1300 um, as a police bike Anyhow, uh, it was quite good. He gave me a uh, the phone number of the Holden dealership in Warwick, and, and this was a Saturday, uh, and it was about eleven o'clock in the morning. Uh, the dealership closes just after twelve, so I gave them a call and um, sort of slowly limped into the Holden dealership there and parked up, and they had a bit of a look at their diagnostic gear on and and um, <clears throat> said something about um, a solenoid in the torque converter of the transmission. Anyway, they reset the, the, uh, the error message and uh, said, you know, if you have any problems, just pull up and ring up, hold and assist. So yeah, okay, so off I went. Made it down the road, probably about uh, about 40 k's, and it came up again. I pulled over, a little place called Applethorpe. Um, basically nearly in town, across the road from a, a, um, a fruit shop. So I called up the road service, so I was still in Queensland, so that was the RACQ. They came out, um, well I was getting myself a cut piece of fruit and that, just a, and a drink came out, the uh, mechanic came out, was pretty good, he put his diagnostic on it, said yeah, it looks like there's something with a torque converter, um, but it's been reset, and he said, see how you go, just take it easy on it. Okay, so off I went, I crossed into New South Wales and started to head across to, uh, towards my mate's place, and well, it was about 30 k's from his place and it came on again and by that stage I'd had enough. 
I rang up the road service again and to cut a long story uh, even a little bit short uh, basically um, I ended up getting towed away so the uh, they got the, the, the tow out he towed the my car and the caravan back to Tenterfield in New South Wales and from there I found out that uh, yes it was a, a solenoid in the torque converter um, and basically said they said well that's a new transmission I can't the, the solenoid is part of the transmission so it's a full replacement essentially it's under warranty so it didn't cost me anything except for hanging around at my mate's place for a couple of weeks um, we, we screwed down a couple of places and did a little bit of fishing here and there um, found a really good spot uh, on the coast uh, for fishing uh, it was excellent they had a variety of fish um, so we got in there and um, yeah and when you got your fish it came out filleted and wrapped in paper <laughs> and we also bought some bait some prawns or shrimp or whatever you want to call them anyway so yeah there for a few weeks um, finally got the car back and um, yeah headed back so yeah that was the uh, the twist in the adventure it didn't quite happen as expected but anyway it happened um, so then a mate, mate that I went to visit it joined me and we headed back to far north Queensland anyhow um, yeah oh, look on the way back uh, we stopped at a few freebie um, um, camping spots um, one on the river which we mate caught a fish while we there did a little bit of fishing and so we headed back and the transmission didn't miss a beat after that so that was the adventure um, I'll do a couple of other videos uh, later uh, in a couple of places I, I had a look around it and uh, uh, particularly around this little town called Benalbo and where I was staying and um, and then some other, other place that I uh, want to um, highlight as well so that's coming up uh, for now hey that's the way things go it is what it is um, we'll have to try again later on in the year I suppose so for now I hope to uh, catch you next time around and cheers <laughs>